the next one fact is commonly called as adoptive factors. Adoptive factor is nothing but is a non-living factor. These are predominantly involved in soil. So soil, it's a matter of so many kinds of regarding what physical and the chemical compositions of compound. The study of soil is commonly called as feudal age or edapal age. So what do you call regarding what soil? Soil is nothing but it is a superficial layer on the earth or also known as it is a superficial withered layer on the layer on the earth plants can be grown On the soil which contain so many kinds of compound, namely organic matter, mineral compound, soil air, then soil water. So these are the component he is always accompanied with the soil. What do we call soil formation? The formations of soil is commonly called as pseudogenesis. How it can be formed regarding what soil? Soil formation which can take place through the dirt. So what do we call the dirt or the means commonly called as? The rock particles is the down which leads to small particles. The responsible formations of regarding what soil. So rock is broke down as a resulting responsible formations of small particle that is formations of regarding what soil. Okay. What are the weathering state place? There are three kinds of weathering, namely. Physical weathering, chemical weathering, and third one, biological weathering. Physical weathering is always accompanied with the rotation, motions and water along with alternate heating and cooling. Alternate wilting and drying resulting the rock particle is broke down became into small particle that is a commonly called as physical weather. 
सहनते केमिकल बनते The chemical building is always accompanied with regarding what the chemical process. By means of chemical process, the rock particle which break down became is converted into small part of polymers that responds to formation of cell. So, what are the processes accompanied with regarding what the chemical building is commonly called as oxidation, reduction. carbonation and the solubilization autolysis these are the process is responsible for a rock particle breakdown into small particle the responsible formation of solid the third one process is occurring by बायोलॉजिकल वेदर बायोलॉजिकल वेदरिंग इज ऑलवेज कंपेयर विद बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटीज व्हाट आर द ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट कैन बी कंपेयर विद बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटीज नथिंग बाय Bacteria, fungi, and some microbes. Those are responsible for the rock particle being broken down into small particles. Next. Soil profile. What do you mean called soil profile? The soil contains so many kinds of layer that lie down arrangement one above the other. That's a common difference. Soil profile. What are the region that must be occur in the soil profile he is nothing but A00. A zero, A one, A two, B one, B two, C, and R. These are the row of component. There can be arranging layer one and the other. So what are the region is nothing but A zero zero is nothing but undecomposed debris, which is nothing but. Fall on leaves, flowers, fruit, then twigs. What I call A zero is commonly called as partially com decomposed. The place is nothing but plants and animals. The plants and animals what way going to be decomposed means with the help of bacteria and fungi. The third one, A one is commonly called as humus zone. Because here it can be contained 
huge nutrients. That we call regarding what? Humus. For the first three, those are all commonly called as humus zone. What do they call air two? Does it call elevation zone? What do we call elevation? Washing down of nutrients in upper strata. What do you mean? Washing down of nutrient in upper strata. Is that commonly called as A to this called elevation? What they call B1 is a commonly called as elevation. That means nutrient storing lowest data. Is a call nutrient down in upper strata is a one is a called elevation. What they call elevation? Nutrient store in regarding what lowest is a call what B1. B2 is nothing but rich amount of ions, aluminium and clay particles. C degree is a commonly called as along with to be here small piece of rock C region large piece of rocks or is commonly called as bedrocks Beyond the bedrocks, water tables are there. So these are the commonly called as soil profile. Okay. So A0, A0, A1 is a commonly called as humus zone. A2, B1, C2 is commonly called as top soil. Is a commonly called as a1 b1 is a commonly called as top soil b2 c is a commonly called as subsoil this is nothing but soil profile this called topographic factor What are the definitions of topographic factor is commonly called as surface features of earth is called topographic factor. Topographic factor which include latitude. Altitude, temperature, rainfall, steepness of mountain, and the ranges of mountain. Topography factor which affects vegetation is 
pro climatic variations so surface features of earth is a called topographic factor which include latitude altitude temperature rainfall steepness of mountain range of mountain then third one to be called topographic factor which can be affect vegetation through regarding what climatic variations the last one commonly called as biotic factor so what are the definitions of biotic factors nothing but interactions of organism between plants and the animals is a called biotic factor based on the interaction among them the interaction can be classified as a two types namely positive interaction and negative interaction what do you mean commonly called as positive interaction is nothing but the interaction which must be involving in two organism both the organism or both the partner is a benefit as a called positive interaction based on the beneficial positive interaction can be classified as a two types one of the commonly called as mutualization what are the called mutualization is commonly called as the interaction of two organism among that nature both the organism will be attain regarding beneficial that is a commonly called as mutualization what are the examples of mutualization commonly called as mycorrhiza what are the second things commonly called as common sarism What are the common sarism? Something bad. The interaction of organism or interaction of two partner, one partner or one organism is attaining beneficial. Other partner or other organism neither beneficial nor harm. So what is the symbol to be given regarding mutual is the mean plus then plus because. Involvement of two organism, both are beneficial. Common sense means the involvement of two organism or involvement of two partner, one of the organism is attaining beneficial. The one more partner is not beneficial and not harmed. That symbol is given regarding part zero. So. Commonly, the given symbol is commonly called as plus zero zero. What are the examples of common sense? Is commonly called as birds. What are called negative interaction? What are the definitions of negative interaction mean? The involvement of two partner among the partner, one of the partner is attaining beneficial, another one partner or another one organism is harmed. So interaction with them one two, one is beneficial, one is regarding what the harm. Based on the nature, negative interaction can be classified as steps. The first one. Predations. 
So the pinnacle is nothing but one of the organism is kills. Another one of the organism is commonly called as what killed, which is our kills that is commonly called as predator. Which is our killed, you know, that is a commonly called as what the prey. So predator is commonly called as what the benefited. Prey is commonly called as what not benefited. So what the symbol is given is commonly called as plus and then minus. Because predator is a benefit, it is a plus. Prey is not predated discipline regarding what demands. What is the examples of commonly called as predations commonly called as Narpandas, Drosira, Dentriculuria, the Sarva, Parasitism. Parasitism also, the interactions of two organisms, one organism is benefited, other organisms regarding what the harm. One of the examples given is commonly called as Kaskuta, Balanospora. Viscum and sandal. These are the common decoders. Examples of parasitism. What are the definition? The interaction of two organisms. One organism is benefited, other organism is a harm. These are two symbols given regarding what plus and minus. So, Kasputa is a common decoders. Total stem parasite. Bernospora is a commonly called as total root parasite. This is a question in Nikpa. Viscum is commonly called as partial stem parasite. Sandalum album or sandal is called partial root parasite. In addition to here, common sarism, what are the examples commonly called as? Orchids and lioness. For negative interaction, third one is a commonly called as competition. For the competition, both the organism is harmed. So the involvement of two partner or involvement of two organisms, both are harmed. So the symbol is commonly called as minus and minus. What is the examples of competition is commonly called as? The given example is commonly called as grassland species. The fourth one, amansalism, the being, the interaction of two species, one of the species are harmed. So one more species unaffected. So the involvement of two species, one other species are harmed, another species commonly called as unaffected. That symbol is regarding one zero. What are the examples of commonly called as among solution is commonly called as the greatest example commonly called as perizelium. Then Staphylococcus, so 
these are the parts to be going to regarding our interaction, mutualization, commensalization. This comes from regarding what? Positive interaction, negative interaction commonly called as predation, parasitism, competition, and amensalism. These are the things that comes from regarding what? Biotic factors. The next one we are going to discuss about regarding what? Ecological adaptations. What is that adaptation? Some organism structurally should be modified to survive on the any one of the environment that is commonly called as adaptation. Based on the adaptation, the plant can be classified by various types, namely Otherwise, zero fights, meso fights, then epiphytes. Among the ecological adaptation. Epiphyte is so regarded but peculiar because these are not a contact with the soil, which is always present on regarding about woody tree and branch of trees. The first one is commonly called as what? Otherwise. So, what do you mean commonly called as otherwise? The plants are living in the water. So, what are the plants which must be occur in the water? Those plants which must be come from regarding water hydrophytes. Based on the presence of the natural for the structural phenomena, hydrophytes can be classified regarding water various types. The first one is a commonly called as free floating hydrophytes. What do you mean call free floating hydrophytes? That means the leaves are freely occur on the surface of regarding all water bodies. So what are the plants which fall on the water? Which plants? The leaves are occur on the surface of water. Those are all, it must be come from the categories is commonly called as free floating hydrophytes. What are the examples of free floating hydrophytes commonly called as? Icarnia, Pistia, and Ulfia. These are all which must be come to the free floating hydrophytes. Sample one. Root third floating hydrophytes. That name like this. These plants, there is a water, there is a mud. The roots are attached to the mud. The leaves are, flowers are present on surface of water. That is a common term, rooted floating hydrophytes. What are the examples commonly called as? Nelumbo, then Nimbia. These are all commonly called as rooted floating hydrophytes. Part of these are commonly called as submerged floating hydrophytes. So what do we call submerged floating hydrophytes? The whole plants are which are immersed in the water bodies. The plants not contact with the soil, not contact with the air. But the whole plants which are immersed in the water bodies, that's are called submerged floating hydrophytes. What is the example is commonly called as? Sertopilum. 
then Eutychloria. Those are all examples I think. Submerged protein metabolites. Then fourth one. Rooted protein metabolites. That means the plants roots are attached in the mud, but the leaves and flowers are commonly called as immersed in the water. So the whole plants which are immersed in the water bodies, but they can attach it in the root. That's a commonly called as rooted, immersed hydrophytes or rooted floating hydrophytes. What is the example is commonly called as Vallisneria and the Hydrilla. That's called rooted submerged hydrophytes. Rooted submerged hydrophytes because the whole plants, the roots are attached to the mud, but the whole plants immersed in the water bodies is a called rooted submerged hydrophytes. For example, Wallisneria and the Hydrilla. The last one, Amphibians plants. The big commonly called as the plant it must be existing in both land and water. To do presence of this land and water, the plant it can be considered as amphibians plants. What is the example is commonly called as Sagittaria than Typha. Those kinds of plants generally occur in soil water. So, based on this adaptation, hydrophytes plants can be classified with various types, namely free floating hydrophytes, rooted hydrophytes, then third is the common as submerged floating hydrophytes. Rooted submerged hydrophytes, then amphibious plants. Okay. What are the commonly called as zoropylids? Some of the plant it must be occurring in extreme dry condition. So, what are the plant it must be occurring in the extreme dry condition? Those plants it must be considered regarding what is zoropylids. The kinds of plant it must be possessed, so many kinds of regarding what adaptations. Apart from hydrophytes, apart from mesophytes, apart from regarding but zero fates, some other plants as they can be present in different kinds of soil. Based on the presence of the nature, the plant can be classified by various types. Some of the types I will be given you. First one, hylophytes. Hylophytes means the plants are Live in salinity. Or the plants are live in saline, saline that the plant is commonly called as hylophytes. Second one, semophytes. The plants live in sand. If sand loving plants is commonly called as hemophytes, saline loving plant is commonly called as what hemophytes. Third one, lithophytes. What are lithophytes? The plants which is living rock. 
So if the plant which was present on the log or occurring on the log, the plant is completely cutters with the bites. Then chasmophyte. It is the terms apart from the presence of the regarding what vegetation. Chasmophyte is nothing but plants living rock crevices. So you, you differentiate rock and rock crevices. If the plants occur on the rock, it is commonly called as the fights. The plants which are regarding what rock crevices is commonly called as chasmophytes. Then fifth one. Chrysophytes. That means plants live in under soil. From the plant, it must be grow or it must be seed germination. It shall occur in to the soil. That is our concern regarding what chrysophytes. So the plants living under the soil. Then sixth one. Cryophytes. The plants live in ice region. The plant is commonly called as chrysophytes. Then seventh one. Alkalophytes. That means the plants are live in alkaline soil. This is the commonly called as alkalophytes. These are that other. Terms as well as other types of regarding what vegetation occur on the lands. This is nothing but to discuss the classroom principles of ecology. In the next class, we will discuss about regarding what ecosystem. Thank you.